Welcome back to sitting in the dark, watching people patrol past in the passage, and whistling out of tune. Otherwise known as the Black Parade Mission 2, where the faces fade. I feel like I'm being drowned out by the guard humming sausage himself there. Alright, I'm to remind myself where I'm going, upstairs, right? Yes, up here to the right, across the way. So should we be good to go now? Alright, oh, we can't... It's guarded that way, right? Hmm... We can go across the gallery again. And to the balcony, that seems like a... Smarter way in. Huh, there's a few bricks out of place there. But purely decorative. As soon as I find you, you're dead! Shit, he heard me. Alright, no problem. As soon as he finds me, he won't find me because I won't be there. <sighs> All right, safely out of his reach. Hello. I do see a place across there I could get to. Which I've not been to. Which might have loot for me. Seems like an important consideration. Maybe we do need to go back where this guy was going. Is he still here or did he move on? I can't tell. He's still here. There he is. He's going to turn to his right. And he's going to leave the room and make way for me. Jump back in through here and... Wait, there's no window here going out that way. I mean, I guess we're, I can proceed this way instead. me to go up levels, but that's not exactly what I was trying to do. We don't have a map of upper levels, of course. There's upper upper levels? Sorry, pause there while I sneezed. So I'm hearing footsteps from all over and I don't know where they're coming from. Well, those ones are coming from right in front of me, that's pretty obvious. <clears throat> Where'd he go though? Disappear. Did he just turn around? Maybe he just turned around, maybe he didn't actually turn down this way. That would explain it. Or he went there. Would also explain it. Ah, he's going downstairs, okay.
Well, this is not the side I was looking for a window from, and in fact, the ledge I was climbing across wouldn't get me here. This is... I am disoriented quite some... quite a bit. That doesn't match the staircase that I knew of going to the upper floors as well. Are there many upper floors? Is that a place I can go, or is that a closed window? It looks like an open window. Interesting. I'm kind of waiting for this guard to come back up, though. Which is, I guess, slow and uneventful. I want, because I want to see what's down those stairs. Because I want to understand the connectivity here that is not making sense to me just now. Where's that flashy light there for some reason? And here, footsteps out that way really loudly. I have no idea where they're from. It's very odd. It's like, it sounds like he's in the next room right there, but he's not. And this guy is taking his sweet time coming back upstairs. Let's, <laughs> let's go take a peek and that will obviously prompt him to start moving, right? Oh, he's right there. Okay. <sighs> Oh no, this is the ledge I would have come on to. Alright. Still doesn't help me with those. How would, how would one reach there? It's obviously a place that's reachable. It's a ledge there, but that's on... That's up... well, that's out here. Unless there's a secret door in the sitting room? I suppose it's possible. I can go around and check again, right? Or I can do some uh, research. <laughs> I was planning to, you know, pull to my death and do a quick load, but what do you know? <sighs> what do you know? It uh, didn't happen. Hello, that looks new. I don't think I've been up there. Have I? Huh? <sighs> it's totally new. Hello. Saw this high tower pop when I was born, hot in the street of Smulderbulk with his usual smugness. So bloated with pride, he didn't hear the guard he from the old Jurassic upstairs. Then it happened to cover head to toes with piss pot waste. You yeah, should have seen the look of his face. I don't know what he was doing away from high town, but it's always a great pleasure when the Baron's licks bigots get what they deserve. Anyway, back to business. Here's what I managed to scrape from Buckle and Weller's warehouses. Six iron ingots and two bales of wool. Don't know what to do with this wool, though. Also, someone forgot his gold ring in the office. I hope it belonged to one of the Saltpeter's men. I took it with me so nothing happens to it, but we gotta find a pawnbroker and go to the cockfight tonight with the fat cash we get us for Lady Luck stops smiling at us. So you've got a ring here? No? You lying about that? Are you... Well, you took it to a pawnbroker, and I didn't find it in the pawn shop. What's going on there? Where the hell are we? We're I mean, north of... Uh... <gasps> This guy's house, somewhere. This is gonna be awkward to get out of. Oh, no, it's fine. Hmm. I have no idea where I am. City Tribune, loathsome murder at Gwynabode's bathhouse. The most barbarous murder has been committed around Hightown within the walls of Gwynabode's bathhouse. 
Yesterday night, Mr. Gwynebode Cornell, a most respectable math master, was drowned inside one of his bathtubs by a fierce madman possessed by the wicked mists of strong liquors. The heroic men of the Baron's police apprehended the murderer, known as Knapp the Carpenter. One of the regular customers present at the scene commented, He just wanted to force the bathmaster to drink a little of the monster soup that passes as water inside his house, but the mad beast was drunk as a barrel and didn't see he was drowning. More on page 8. Rain of food at Mozart. At the time of the Summer's Day Festival, a whole roasted camel fell from above and broke down a patrolman's boat in half. Jessup, captain of the Old Ale River Patrol, commented, It's not the first time and surely won't be the last. The nobles up there seem to think it's funny to throw down food at us. The most esteemed Lord Waldorf, who owns one of the magnificent households by the moat, dismissed the captain's statement by labelling his words as scurrility and ridiculous slander without proof of the lack of a bored sailor trying to fill his boring existence with baseless stories. More on page 17. That's not a usable duct, okay. Well, this is a usable door. Stairway. Where the hell am I? Ow! Oh, dramatic music. Somebody's dead here for some reason. But this is exactly the place they'll try and get to, which is a absolutely beautiful coincidence. Like, I was like, how did I get here? And just did a sideways leap to see if there was, like, some way to climb... Some way to climb out from here, which I, now I can see clearly how to do it. Um, Blood in the sewers. Found my way directly to the place I've been trying to research. So there you go. My research was perfect in every way. Well, who is this guy? Greetings, my friend. There is a large grand sculpture called the Keyhole Stone, situated in a canal in Newmarket, close to a hall house. Apparently that was formerly the old town crier's guild hall, but I digress. The locals seem to think that it was placed there in ancient times as a memorial for some event. And an old fellow told me a story about a portal to another time or something like that. I headed there myself, but the canal was so full, despite the drought, go figure, I was forced to watch it from afar. By the looks of it, it is three feet long, two feet broad, and it depicts two crossed keys under a large hole, hence the name. Could you please look into the city archives for more information on that? I'm looking forward to pursuing Fenati's works on the city's history. P.S. Don't you find it strange that he suddenly died by ingesting spoiled meat after... Indeed. Well, I'm sure those apples are good. All right, so we just get back to this balcony here. Right across the one I was looking for a window. I didn't even consider this window. And we can get back to the upper floor where we were. Doing our important business. Oh. Try jumping that window, that's gonna be a difficult mantle, I think. This one should be much easier. <sighs> that looks valuable there. Okay, so this is the normal way up, right? Or part of the normal way up. The creepy face with valuables in front. Where are the guards? Is my question. Ooh, a lot of strange sounds as well. There's one. There's a the guard I was looking for. I'm gonna jump down there and have a look. Probably worth a water arrow, right? Let me sort of make the sneaking easier. And da -dum. Uh. Well, where is this? This isn't the stairs up to the upper level, what? <clears throat> Mm 
Who's there? Who made that noise? Huh. Come on out then. Uh, I don't suppose they're actually likely to come here. Bed. <sighs> He feeds people to the spiders, does he? Now we can turn the light off, that's nice. Okay, well then where is this? I don't know. Where is this then? Oh, this is the rooftop. Okay, we know where this is. This is the kitchens that are there. Okay, and then we could go that way and get easy access to the floor above by the ladder and jumping. So is there nothing under here except a statue face looking that way? to do with you. A little out of my way, but... I'm, I'm annoyed. This guy didn't even react. It was just completely silent. It's not right. God, should not do that. <sighs> Fresh meat for the spiders. That's his punishment, but not not making an alert sound that I could react to. Let that be a lesson to all the other guards. And also that makes it easier for me to get up to the upper floors here. I didn't even realise this area was gated off. It's not actually, that's behind. It's a little uh, altar that's gated off, not this area. <coughs> you mind, I was trying to hide and you weren't giving me time to react. <coughs> Sleep in the passageway. That feels like a door. Like there might be a switch hiding behind this binary here. Hmm. I can't see any sign of a switch, so moving on. What does this go? Another stairway down? No, this is the one. I, is this the one I came up for? No, I have not been here. There's a lot of... That's a lot of red flowers. Hello? I've not seen this area at all. I have... How do you hide a tree in this house? How do you hide an entire tree in this house?
Did he hide all these rooms in this house? Mr. Holliford, I'd like to remind you of your duties to your baron and your city. Surely you do not expect that the payment you sent on the first of the month is the entirety of your tax guilt? Or do you think the baron is unaware of your illegal trading operation with Blackbrook? Let, let me remind you of the example made of Lord Brinvaron, and to show you that the penalties for concealment of income are as harsh today as they were in Brinvaron's time. The main difference, of course, is that today the inspectors receive a bounty and are even more enthusiastic in their duties. The Baron waits for the reminder, remainder of your tax guilt. I advise that you not leave him waiting too long. Julian Freehold, Commissioner of Taxes. I haven't been down there, right? That, that looks entirely unfamiliar. I think I would have noticed the previous uh, leaves kind of falling from it. A skull candle. Can I get through here? I can. We have a uh, painting of a zombie. Still life with a zombie head. Why would you keep such a magnificent painting uh, tucked away up here? So that's the thing I uh, remembered reading about, I remembered hearing about. Um, I've been cutting down the banners, but if you walk into one, they make it move aside, which is nice. Like, it's the moving of ignoring the Z fighting. All the models for moving a banner aside exist in Thief 1. They were just unused. Um, and if you make it a prob, it's um, it's very hard to use it with anything behind. Of course, this is a passive race, so it wouldn't matter in this case. Because um, even when retracted, the object still takes up the whole space. But uh, that's a nice, nice way of doing it. Just when you contact it, move it aside. I guess that's good for the people who like to be the ghost rules and not damage property. Hello, who are you? Why are you dead? And why do you have a key? <clears throat> Vault key note. Bloody key. I'm gonna read the note and I grab the key instead. Where is that note gone? Direct. Don't you worry, Mike, about getting the key down in that hellhole. There's a canny secret to them statue heads near his big tree. It's not there once before, so there's no, no fear for me. I'll get it myself. Worry yourself about the snatching of his other key. Once you grab it, sneak up the secret way to the vault and we'll dine fine off the back of his old dusty treasure. Cost myself a buyer for sure. Blood splatter. Hmm. Odd that the body was that he was murdered, but the key and the note were left behind. That feels like he might be heading for a trap. Hello, we've got a way up here as well. <sighs> Ah, uh, awkward ass ladder. Ah, uh, step on the ladder again. God. It looks great, but usability of such ladders is really poor. <sighs> A cave? How's there a cave at the top of this mansion? That makes no sense. We're at the top of his mansion. Gas mine? We went up his mansion. How the hell are we in caves now? There's, no, there's absolutely no sense to this. Fire arrow. What's going on here? We got switches by both of these. Are they doors? Are these the secret doors? Well, 
Well, this is the room I've not been in before. Is that the vault? That's got two two locks. Let's close that for a moment. And this is also a room I've not been in, I don't think. I'm gonna find a switch on this side. Hmm. Unclear. I might as well leave them open. Why are we now? Just, uh... Very weird pointless room. Okay. And we are above which area? Are we above the entryway? I didn't look up from there, did I? Not that it would have helped me if I had. If we go... That's where I... Is that where I came up? No, this is where I came up, right? No, now I'm confused. This is where I came up. I've just got the gas mine from there. So where does this take us? <sighs> Strange laughter coming from... Uh... Painting, what's all that about? A gong. Sorry, kid, that gave me a fright. <laughs> uh, there's a statue looking at the window. What happens if I ring the gong? Nothing at all. Is there anything about this painting except it's just being weird? <sighs> Another statue head sitting on a chair. Well, this guy likes really weird stuff, I guess. Okay. I, mean, I guess he's allowed to. No law against liking, liking weird stuff. I'm going to try the ladder. It's safe not to use an angled ladder like that. Probably have slid down and been fine anyway, but... How did he even find this place? Right, it's behind the banner. Find out about the three places. Oh god, this whole place is suddenly quite strange. That's where this pushing aside doesn't work so well. Right, so I can do that and not cut it down, but you know what? Stop banners, you know? Death to banners. It's not the jump I wanted to make. Stop banners. This Hume don't stand for no banners. What a mess, all this paper on the floor everywhere. Well, those are not that valuable candlesticks. I still don't know how to distinguish the ones that are from the ones that aren't without going right up to them. Then we have a uh, pagan muse statue. Downstairs, which doesn't add up to me. Another tree. Well, healing potion is fine, but where, where the hell are we? Again, enormous place that doesn't fit. Much bigger than the floor plan below. So there's something very strange is going on here. I think this guy might be cheating in his use of problem space. Desmond! Remember the Shemenov knives you bought them years ago, back when they were just starting and were actually competent? 
These are the good ones, and they cost a fortune now, so keep them with you. But they're knives now, by far the shoddiest rubbish I've seen in a while. Why the new Shimonov knives? They're the sturdiest and sharpest in the city. My dimwit head servant actually bought them, of course, without my knowledge. To my utter terror, I've had one of these knives snap not two days ago, and the blade went flying to the other side of the room, almost hurting poor Lady Nicolotti. Dirty of my bottom. But sharpest, that's for sure. She already hated me, but now she thinks I want to kill her. It's a miracle she avoided that blast thing. You can be assured I had Dominic whip that moron until he was a bloody pulp. I can't fathom why people still buy their drugs. The Shemenovs are swimming in so much money, they already bought that old baronial fortress near Lower Dark Smoke some years back. Now they've bought another castle in Dayport. Ah, who am I kidding anyway? I don't like the hammers very much, but these raving lunatics looking for eyes to pluck at least know how to make good kitchen utensils. I have no use for their pointless hammers though, so they can stop supplying them to my manor house and shove them where I think. Is that what you think? Is that... Most people use the brain? The head? I mean, I guess if you want to use some unconventional thinking spaces, I guess you're, you're allowed to. <sighs> Have I been up there? No, there's a vase. Oh, God, this place is so confusing to me. Well, there's another way to get there, so I'm going to leave it for the moment. Because I want to... I don't want to chase too many different ways to go at one time. I'd like to try and get back to a place I recognize so that I know that I'm... on the right track. Um, so they know, so they know that I'm, you know, covering ground properly. But it seems less and less likely. All right, we saw this is the tree, right? We saw this place. Okay, from above. Just gardeners shed. Another flash bomb. The key's not sorted. Oh god, they're not sorted. Hang on. Oh, <sighs> right. Right, 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 right. This is the, uh, above the wine cellar. So that's where the question mark was here, right? Or the garden shed would be the, you know, next to the kitchen. Alright. <sighs> what was the note that we saw by the, by the bloody key? What did it say about the... Any secret to them statue heads near his big big tree. Is that like the statue heads we've been seeing on beers and stuff? Oh these statue heads. I see. Labyrinth picture. I mean, that's not a very canny secret. It's a good switch though. Where the hell are we now? Oh, that's a very long way down. I must say the this map manages to hide an awful lot in between the walls. You might even say it hides an awful lot between these dark walls or something like that. The well? That's your access. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing and where I'm going, but there is a bolt. Oh. <sighs> is that 
stairs down. Very hard to see. Another source of light. That's uh, some large bones. That's, uh, no, that's just goes down into the pit. I don't think I want to go there. <sighs> I'm not sure I want to go down here either, but at least it's less likely to kill me immediately. Also, I think. Someone else died down here, though. Oh. My god, the sound is messing up. Oof. Some horrific clicking there, sorry about that. Did feel like there's a place there without any room brushing. Hello, I can... ...just rob that. Oh, where the hell am I? So this is... This is not his mansion. Roots coming through the roof. I would have seen that. It's like, is this his front gate? No, this is not his front gate. I... Quite certainly. Cool, we got a nice blood fountain. Silver goblets for drinking blood from, as is traditional. They're clearly quite happy to have you mantling on top of bushes and trees, you know. In this mission, the way they've uh, designed it that you'll do so. Getting to new new places. Okay, we're above the pools. A lot of space that goes nowhere here. It's kind of cool. It's very quite clearly channeling uh, the way Constantine's mansion works. But um, this guy isn't supposed to be the trickster himself, is he? That's a throne room. There's bathroom tiles on the wall. And sharp stakes shoved through a uh, human sized cage. Very lovely. Right. So, why is one step difficult? It's a, it's a trap. Three roots. Seems to be another way out of here. I mean, obviously down there's a way out, but I don't think I want to try it down just yet. 
Oh no, this is... Oh no, there's a way out. <laughs> Ouch, just just me getting hurt. Just make uh. one little noise. Ah. Try and catch this! Alright, well, that worked. You still got me. Do I have another healing potion? I do. Ugh. Do you mind not... I, I did not fix that sound between episodes. I really should have. I can't even see where the pressure plate is. I guess as long as I run across it quickly. Dangerous to be a guard in a place like this, isn't it? Your painting's all askew. Another big tree. Where the hell are we? I mean, I guess it's let's just stop asking that question, right? There's no good answer. Oh, all these red leaves on the ground? Do you remember that intro? I mean, the red leaves falling from up here, but... Uh... I could go for a swim. Very strong current, okay. <gasps> there's a stair there, there's a stair here. There's guards apparently unfussed by all this. I guess if they're being paid. I mean, Constantine had guards unfussed by all his nonsense, didn't he? The problem is, I feel like, uh, now you get back in my head, that I've, like, passed four or five different junctions that I still need to explore. And this place just keeps getting bigger. Who's there? Is someone there? Nope, nobody's here. Bad. I guess we've escaped the archer. Is this? Hang on, have I been here? Am I. Oh my god. Yes, this is a gardener's place. This is where I started this. Crazy <sighs> crawling, that's right. That was a passage. But now it's just going all the way around again, and I've... Forgotten which way I went. I guess we went down here. Did we get it, find anything down here, or was this just a dead end? Oh, no, that's right, we came out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
A horrific uh, sound problem there as so we uh, moved. Okay, there's a wall of grey fog. We're not going to get through. No, I didn't even look this way. It's another wall of grey fog, okay. And I went that way last time, so what is this way? Obviously there's still more to explore out that way too, but... A window into the wall of grey fog. Okay, cool. What is this? Pagan symbol with an eyeball. Cool. Not your eyeball, is it? Hello, you got a key? Key found deep underground. Why have we got footsteps here now that weren't here before? I didn't know any better, I'd say. Sounds like a horse, but everybody knows there's no horses in the city. Steps just stopped. Went back up these trees, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After five tries. So, is this the other keys we need to the vault? But, I mean, it seems a little plausible, but I've completely forgotten where the vault was. So we're going to keep going around again until we get back to where we found those guards, I suppose. And try not to alert them so much, so much this time. Steps on the trap again. Well, you know what? We should maybe for science. Take a look. Careful not to fall in. Should flares because I could drop a flare down there. Dropping a flash bomb down wouldn't do anything. You know, for science. <laughs> cool. You don't hit bottom, that's good. Too noisy. There isn't a guard right here. Oh, we've got this. Have to worry about. It didn't go off. I don't know why. All right. I don't know where the guard who saw us was. I 
think is up there. That makes sense, it go up that way. What is this statue? Way too high poly for a thief one. It somebody's head uses bagpipes for for pan. You know, that's, that's cool, what's Right, I went, I went swimming. That's the garden saw me before. I went swimming and there was too much of a current. Like the way the leaves are rotating there. Very simple thing to see, but. Very effective visual. Makes the water feel like it's flowing much more than just the what a texture would do. Alright, can I put this out? Oh, I'll probably miss from this angle. Yeah, he's coming back. Reading some books now, is he? <sighs> Who goes there? Nobody. Okay, he's going away again. Oh, maybe this is the guard. That's Hello. Us. Show yourself. Why don't you show yourself? Out! Ho ho ho! <laughs> Have less. Less of you fellas wandering around. I throw them in the water, except. I don't want to make no. I don't want to make noise right now. Okay, I came here, right? I grabbed the. Uh, This is the way we went to escape. And I went over here and we fell down. I, mean, I don't really know where that is. Are kind of in the way of why I want to go as well. It's alright, we can get an airborne knockout. Okay, now these guys are both unconscious. Now we can sacrifice them to the water guards. So that's that's good, I guess. Don't kill anyone, I forgot. I forgot. Did a quick save after throwing him in? No, okay, a quick save before we knock this guy out. Alright, I'll just knock him out then. Shame. <laughs> I'll be good, I promise. Okay, Mr. Mission Ender. Okay, we'll just sleep here. If they roll over in their sleep and fall in the water, that's on them, but I guess I won't do it myself. Fair enough. Because this place is just like dead ends, loose ends everywhere. Not dead ends, but. Is that a painting of a door, or is it a door? Surely it's a door. Oh, I can't get up there. 
Hang on, what's through here? Stack of books, it's falling over, that's very cool. Like visual detail wise, this mission is amazing. Upside down bookcase. I'm not sure I want to come up here because I'm lost enough as it is and adding more passageways. Only making that worse. Okay, it connects here. It's just a way. That looked like an important place up there, but then so did going out this path. So what is out this path? There's another guard somewhere. Um, not if I don't have to, I suppose. Rubble. Just... Random rubble. Back here again, okay. <sighs> I've forgotten where did this go? <sighs> What's that stairway? That's significant. It's a whole castle-y bit. And what's out this way? Apart from a bunch more creepy faces. Just, uh... Falling leaves room, okay. There was this stairway. So this one or is it another one I'm thinking of? This one. Where does this one go? That's... I was going to say surely a passage, but also maybe not. Stairs up. No end. Been a guard here long. Long enough. Long enough for what? <laughs> long enough to want to be working somewhere else. A super loud conversation there. So fucking lost. How am I supposed to find any bars of significance? I mean, I've got a million of them already, but like, how am I supposed to find the bars? So it's this. No, this is not connected to the river out there. It's just forcing this pull and stops. I guess it drains out there. 
I mean, I'm not even sure a compass is going to help me much here. I need to get some repairs done. This wall is looking a little... unsafe. Very much, I guess. Thought the guard might be patrolling out here. Well, if we get that as well, it would be a much safer place, but maybe there's no need for it. The guards aren't actually here. Oh my god, where the hell are the guards? Where the hell is anything? Where the hell am I? How the hell does this place just keep on going bigger and bigger up up here? Oh wait, I've been here. Okay, I do recognize this place. And I was looking at climbing that to get up there. I wonder if it reads them all, if it's all just to show off how big his house is. Oh, and I've come this way before as well, because I looked over this way. Okay. Where are those guards? Okay, I've been there, and I think it came from here. No, I don't remember this door. Yes, I do remember the store. Okay. Feel my mouse is maybe not reacting right. I think the guards were in that room over there. Maybe. I'm going to try climbing up those bookcases because I don't really know where else to go right now. I'm not really sure this is a good place to be trying to go, but there's loot here. That's always a good sign, right? Dear Messer Halliford. I write you this missive to regretfully inform you that we cannot fulfill your wish to obtain the two items you are asking for. These were a soldier lake nymph, an original Maruna from 821, a cigarda, an original Isaac from 826. Furthermore, and this is strictly between us, acquiring art, this, for lack of a better word, lewd, is very difficult these days. Acquiring an original Maruno is akin to asking a barrack to dance. Besides, Maruno himself is confined to Giles at peak. I doubt you will ever see daylight again. These are not simply nude paintings, Mercer. These are incredibly provocative works against modern decency, and you can be assured our house will be in trouble if the Hammerites decided to organize an impromptu visit. Again, I must sorrowfully state that we cannot access your request, but we have many other items for you should you, may should you want to take another look at our collection. We remain, Mr. Halliford, your servants. Purchase and fielding fine art collectors, high town. Skull. Treaty on Paganish Perversity by the Most Honourable John of Clearwater. Chapter 3. The Builder Blushing Veils His Sacred Fires, and in a silent agony, morality frail expires. The Grand Inquisitor Locus, famous both for his towering figure during the affair of the Bewitched of Muttonmere, and for surprising the burghers by holding a trial instead of ordering an immediate cleansing by fire, tasked his scribes to write an account of this mysterious case after a successful prosecution. 
One passage from the Scrabble Papyruses interests us. Then the pious man asked John Peepin, a costard monger, about what sort of loathsome affront were done against the builder underneath the village, deep into grottoes and the basements. And the brave rustic man answered that oftentimes he saw men naked as they were born, lying on their front on the cold, barren earth, moving their hips with the same fervour as if one was engaging in a coitus, taking great pleasure with these evil spirits named the succubuses, invisible to all but their victims. And the goodman could only see from this grotesque accouplement a dark, greasy smoke vaguely shaped as a curvaceous woman rubbing herself upon the fallen men, as well as a nausea-inducing malodor of flowers and ripened fruits impesting the air. Joyce Bowles, a wet nurse from Saperby, told Garum the storysmith that at each full moon the vile hoofed liar in his caracolant court held ceremonies in the deepest catacombs below the Lemurian mountains to fornicate with countless women and their customers to know the most beautiful one by the front and the most hideous ones by the behind. In her magnus opus tractatist MP in Sotteligis, the abbess Vodegas from the Order of the Mute Sisters reported that after reading a certain grimoire, whose name has been shut, a feverous nocturnal vision of an incubus appeared before her, and she was forced into several misgracing acts with the evil spirit, like the being punished her to have rested her eyes upon the secrets of Tricksterian magic. It's in great detail that the incubus is described in this treaty, a creature taking the impious shape of both a man and a goat, and being in possession of a serpent in lieu of a phallus. Of these terrifying tales, two points are to be made. Primo, of this luscious operation which isn't committed or practiced by them for the pleasure they take for it, because those are cold and calculating beings, this copulatory act is forced upon their victims akin to a usurer scattering the seed of his future deeds. Secundo of these disgusting acts, they are inflicted upon men for the sole purpose of making them fall into the moor of chaos where they spawn from, either to feast upon their fallen soul or to disgrace the servants of the almighty builder. Right, is this where I came from? Don't know. I mean, no, I have not been here. But I don't know where here is. Oh, there's the loot goal. That's 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 good. Okay, I've been down there. Oh, I only just saw these statues. Look at them. What kind of head is that? It's like a rabbit. <laughs> And I think I've been down there. I'm feeling more lost than I ever did in Constantine's. At least Constantine's had like a theme for each floor, whereas this place is just like everywhere is identical and weird and different. Maybe if I jump inside that painting, I would. Uh end up somewhere. It's another pool of water, yet another waterfall, this time from a vase and tree roots. But getting me nowhere. Leading me nowhere. And two more paths branch off when I haven't got this path. Oh, this is just here. Okay, it's a bed. I thought it was a bridge. It's not a path. That's fine. Kind of funny reading that uh, book there was... Reminded me far less of, of the way the pagans are uh, set up in Thief than it reminded me of a particular book in one of Pavia's missions that... Uh, That's where the guards are. Right, I've been here, okay. So, maybe I've not been up there. Um...
Wait, didn't I murder a guy? No, that was, a different, that was a previous mission. Right. But like, how come I didn't fail a mission already? Was there another path that I've just missed back here? Kind of a rabbit. It's all Donnie Darko. That's whose house this is. Ilarian potteries, dollar three, two kilograms each. Tiamat Alistair. Three ugly potteries from Ilaria. Fair prices. The last one is particularly crude, but could serve as a new chamber pot. Cook bought black puddings and gavel wings from the local pottery in Hightown. Steep prices, but excellent taste. Steel plate armor, 27 kilograms. The wall. Maybe it's not kilograms, maybe it's. 1000 gold, I don't know. Nice, nice plate armor from the Siege of Mirrenval. Proprietor unknown. Pauldron sabatons and counters are missing, but otherwise in excellent condition. I mean, it could be kilograms, but kilograms seems out of. Those shouldn't exist in the city, right? Got an interesting visitor today. Some old man was looking for a couple of rare books that were stolen from a library in Dark Smoke and promised me quite the sum if I returned him these books. Is there even a library in Dark Smoke? I don't recall seeing anything other than old castles, merchants, households, and poor houses. I do have some valuable books in my library. Can't remember that man's face nor his voice. The only thing I recall is his greenish attire. Custom made Iron Maiden. 48 kilograms, 2 meters, dual. Yeah, this guy is using metric. How evil. Used by the old secret police under Flaventa's rule. Very ugly and hard to carry, but I have a very amusing idea with it. Had an alchemist examine the golden bones bought from that pagan. Turns out it's just pewter with lead. Gareth is going to have some fun. Bourgeoisie reality, 45.7 times, 54.6 centimeters. Outskirts of Kingsbridge. The Great Harlot of Trilonia. Pawn shop, downlock. Three paintings by the famous Lizotte for two apples, one egg. The taffer didn't even know the treasures he had in his slop shop. The first two are agreeable, but the real price comes with the third. Could do well in private study. Heading to the Dark Hollow tonight. <coughs> There's, uh... Is that the vase? That's the vase I need to steal. That's what I was sent here to steal. Not in his vault. Of course, his vault is the, is the uh, extra loot, right? Steal the piece inside his vault. Steal the golden clock. That's a good question. I haven't even... ...popped to consider where his clock might be. Okay, so how do I get out there? I mean, uh, this window is too narrow, right? But I can get stuck on it. Um, down, does that connect down there? I don't know, but I guess I guess I came this way because I was heading this way and unsure of continuing with and I had an unexplored passage behind me, so I guess we continue this way a little. No way, I came that way. Let's go this way. quickly. Okay, we're back here. This does not seem to be getting us closer. I need to be up there, right? Pretty sure I've been down the lower end of the staircase already. Yes. In fact, I came down the staircase before. And put out the torch, thinking it would help. I'm so confused. We have to get somewhere. And there's no obvious way to get there. So I guess we have to figure out a non-obvious way. We have to get north, 
right? I mean, those might be doors, but how would you know? That's the room I need to be in. You could gas these people. So, Delgris, why do you want this vase from this guy? And Billy you obviously knows something about this. About who this guy is and how he has such a bizarre place that literally cannot exist. Okay, so where we want is that side. Well, this is the right direction, is it not? I want to go up those stairs again. Right, I didn't go across those stairs. There was uh, there was a way up there. Where, what, how did we get up there? Show yourself. You know, if, if we can kind of get him to to this area to to explore, we might be able to follow him back. Yeah, there he is. Black necks. Noisemaker error is not selectable. Oh, that was last mission. Okay, he's going back. Nothing now. I'm so lost, but he obviously knows his way around. Let's take advantage of that. Up there and to the right, huh? What's down there? Have I been down there? Yes, that was upside down thing. Okay. He went up that way. Right, and I have been here, right? Because I saw... Yeah, I've been here before, but I... Forgot to go this way. All right. Fine. Well, that wasn't a very useful light to put out, was it? Try a smoke bomb on him. I'd rather a flash bomb, smoke bombs. Okay, he's given up. Smoke bombs do not really seem. I don't know. worthwhile. Shit. Well, maybe it is worthwhile.
No, you're thinking of a different character from a different game. Okay, why is he stopping? As there? soon as I find you, you're dead! Are you alright, mate? Damn. Lost him. Come on now, come on! Alright, I wanted to I wanted a reason to use this mic bomb, although maybe that's a bad reason. Think you're so clever. Oh. Right, where are you running to? Okay. Wow. I also don't know how he saw me there because it should be really dark, but. Everyone in this mission, I guess, because I mean, I'm not supposed to be able to hide as well as Garrett, and what that means is... Hiding is... Being properly stealthy is a lot harder. <sighs> okay, is he coming in here too? Maybe not. Here's the car, okay. Tower floors here, otherwise. There's the bars. Alright, save. Let's have a look around. Oh my god, it's been an hour and 20 minutes. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. I should have stopped a while back. Alright, well, I guess I end the episode here. And uh, next episode, we're going to steal the bars and all the other things we need to steal. So I guess I'll see you then.